Sorry, I froze up. Um, so I'll start over talking about no experience. If we call ourselves Christians, we should be able to um, at least know what it is to experience the Holy Spirit. Um, this is something that God sends to us, to uh, those who are willing to accept the Holy Spirit. This is what God sends to us. It says, I help her. He's our advocate. He's the one that, that that little voice that tells us not to do something when we're going to do something evil or wrong. Um, anything that's that's against God is sin. So anything that's evil or wrong, of course, is sin. Um, where do we pick this up from? We pick this up from John. John fourteen sixteen says, "And I will ask the Father, and He will give you an, an av another advocate to help you." And to be with you forever. This advocate is the Holy Spirit. This is what God gives to us. It's one of his gifts that he gives to us that helps us through our daily lives, through our daily routines. Uh, it keeps us from doing things that we do. If you want to call it your conscience, go ahead, call it your conscience. But what it is, is the gift of the Holy Spirit, which God gives to us, um, that keeps us from doing things. Um, and it's very important to have this. Why is it so important to have this? Well, let's go to John 4, 24, which clearly explains why it's important for us to have the Holy Spirit. Because it says in John 4, 24, God is spirit and his worshipers must worship him in spirit and in truth. So if we are his worshipers, it says we must worship him in spirit and in truth so if we're not worshiping in spirit and we've never ever experienced the holy spirit how then are we come walking around calling ourselves christians if we really haven't have christ in us we don't have you know the spirit the spirit god has sent to us we don't have the spirit within us so how can we walk around calling ourselves a christian and as and since we're on that topic, if we're still doing the same things you were doing before we came to Christ, we're not Christians. You're supposed to be become a new whole other topic. But right now we're talking about experience or no experience, which if you've never experienced the Holy Spirit, which is something that you got to learn how to distinguish between emotion and the Holy Spirit. Because you can get um you can get like a spiritual high on emotions. But that's not the Holy Spirit. You'll know the difference. When you come to Christ, you will know the difference between emotions and the Holy Spirit. And hopefully, I would love everyone to feel that feeling. that, that oh, Just a feeling that you cannot describe. God bless you every second, every minute, every hour, of every day.